Oh, actually, did you want to change your name to uh, the Duel Log? So pe well, I guess if they're coming from your channel, they'll know it's you. I mean, I can change it. I, it's either way. Aha! I win then. He surrendered. <laughs> well, that was our show. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Captain Cardsworth channel for all your lottery ticket needs. And uh, you do lottery tickets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He has a channel where he scratches <laughs> lottery tickets. <laughs> because there are channels for everything. It's strange. It makes me, like, some days I, I just want to take the time and sit down and be like, competitive ironing and see what kind of <laughs> channels come up on YouTube. <laughs> or just what? be like, hairstyle battles. I'm just sure the hairstyle. What you, just to see what you could get into a niche market. Yeah. <laughs> There's no competitive ironing channel on YouTube. <laughs> Dual locks. We have an opening. <laughs> Build index the hard way. Have fun with hard way. It's time to play some music. It's your damn bitch challenge. Hey, what's up, you salty assaultants? And welcome to the Deck Build Challenge, where each week two combatants face off with strange theme decks. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe. Joining me today, two very special combatants. First off, we have the Duel Logs from the Duel Logs Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. Perhaps you've heard of him? This this is where you say something, Duel Logs. Hello there. Okay. <laughs> you need to prove that you're there, otherwise people think I just got a patron and had him change his name to that. Oh, that's true. Just it could be a Duel Log soundboard. Yeah, <laughs> I've done that before. Just with, <laughs> not with dual logs. Maybe next year. But joining him is my, uh, common, uh, common, common companion? Often companion? There's a better word for that. He's on the legs Fre plays a lot. Frequent. Frequent collaborator? Yes, Captain Cardsworth. Of the Captain Cardsworth Lottery Scratcher channel. Yeah, he was also on Crossover Month, a sort of like a cheeky thing. And I've decided to get these two two people who are well known from different parts of my audience and combat them against each other in a deck build challenge because that'll be fun, right? Yeah, it should be a blast. <laughs> and today we're doing a challenge of assault mode decks, which which is one of those weird like not really an archetype series things that's really weird. I don't really know what you would describe assault mode as. Assault mode's a synchro deck. Is it? Yeah. I had no idea. Well, but you don't know what assault modes are? Not. I, I know that... I, I always get... The, I used to always get them confused with malefics because they're like an archetype of existing monsters that can be changed into bigger monsters. Malefics. <laughs> like, malefics are just like other... They're like malefic this. Same thing, yeah. it's like, you got, there's a Malefic Stardust, and there's a, uh, whatchamacallit, there's an Assault Mode Stardust. That's true, I guess. What the hell is Arcane Apprentice? What's the search out Assault Mode? Huh. Duh. Interesting. I forgot you had all these needle fiber tactics and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, God. That's right, you don't use it. Well, I mean, on the deck build challenge, it's usually open to OCG cards, but normally we don't have a challenge this open. Usually it's, like, pretty limited to, like, just generic zombies or something like that. Oh, good old Berg. Joe put mm. Berg up on the screen. Oh, God. I like Berg. Berg. You've seen Berg, right? Oh, no, it's... Oh, yeah, here's a little meme. Of course you'd go Stardust Assault Mode. That's the easiest Everybody one. Everybody does that. Everybody does that one. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally never heard of Assault Mode. I've heard of them, but... <laughs> it's just weird how I'm like, there are Assault Mode decks, and you're like, oh, of the varieties of Assault Mode decks, this is the most common. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go start this Assault Mode. No, don't... Oh, someone's got an animal. Is that a poochie dog? Is that the dual barks back there? I think he had to leave to go take care of his dog. 
Well then, it's just you and me, Cardsworth, mono a mono. So it would, so it would seem. Eat my mic real quick. Oh, oh there he is. He's back. Welcome back. From outer space. Hey, was that your pet dog, or did a wild dog break into your house? It was my dog. I don't oh, know what he's doing. <laughs> Probably just being a little goofy pupper. I mean, like, I don't know why he's outside my door when everyone else is home. Because they usually, they don't like to hang around me when other people are home. Oh, hey. That's a colossal fighter you have there. Heck yeah. Oh, but he's attacking with Vylon Prism. Assault mode activate! Oof. Okay, when this card is special summoned, send two warriors from your deck to your graveyard. Lose 100 attack for every warrior in your graveyard. When it's destroyed, you can summon Colossal Fighter. What did Colossal Fighter do? It gains 100. <laughs> That's barely better! <laughs> <laughs> That's not worth the effort! <laughs> is it? <laughs> you just don't understand. <laughs> you still understand the power of Colossal Fighter Assault Mode. Also, it's not a Synchro, even though you use a Synchro to make it. Exactly. If anything, links have made it better. Huh. Since I can put it in my main monster zone. So are, are these from, like, the anime, or did they just release them, like, willy-nilly without any explanation? Good question. I assume they're from the anime. I'll have to get Rada on this. Be like, Rada, make, make an archetype archive on assault mode. And he'll be like, but it's not an archetype. I'm like, but do it anyway. Do it for your friend Hardleg. And he'll be like, we're Of course not you'd friends. go into Stardust Dragon. <laughs> well, you know what? We got assault modes on both sides of the field. I'm happy with this. Yeah, the the the, the goal has been completed. Yeah, I was worried. The only every thing time, is, every time we oh, go ahead. Stardust assault mode's actually good though. Is it? He can tribute himself to negate anything, and then bring himself back. Damn. Like Stardust Assault Mode Turbo Dex were a, a thing back in the day. Huh. I did not. I wasn't Everybody back in the knows day. that. Uh, I'm sorry. Comment in the comments if you knew that. I did not know that. Look, I'm using your favorite card, Joe. Allure of Darkness. I never said Allure of Darkness was bad, just it's not good in every deck. I'm trying to play Abyss Actors, they're like, Allure of Darkness, I'm like, it doesn't work. And then they're like, I'm playing Odd Eyes, and they're like, use Allure of Darkness, I'm like, that still doesn't work, because this is the same kind of idea. And they're like, okay, well how about Sacred Sword of Seven Stars, I'm like, that's Allure of Darkness for level 7! <laughs> if, if it didn't work for Allure of Darkness, why would I play Sacred Swords? Do you ever tell people? Do you ever have people telling you to run three desires? <laughs> desires is great. <laughs> it's only a yeah, neg nine. Twenty five percent of your deck. It's only a neg nine if you believe it is. I think I might have to make a video on that just because uh, there there's enough people who hear that it's neg nine and don't know that that's a joke. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just seriously. I made that quoting. joke in your other video. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hear you on that one. I made a, that joke in your Allure videos comments. I got yeah. a bunch of people arguing it's negative 9 status. It's like, <laughs> this will never not be funny. It's got so many upvotes, too. I think that's the most upvoted comment on there. Just everyone like, yeah, it is a negative 9. And then some of them add a wink wink, and some of them are like, yeah, really. <laughs> They're like, it's only a negative 9 if your deck can't support it. It's like, that's not how that works. <laughs> that's not, that's not like, it's only a negative nine if you believe in it. It's like that, that, uh, that train station in Harry Potter. If you don't know the negative nine is there, then it's not. <laughs> I completely forgot what I was going to say earlier. Me too. <laughs> what is it about Yu-Gi-Oh that just drains your brain cells? Ooh, Firehand. Oh, wow. I just noticed Firehand is a hand attached to another hand. The artist just ran out of ideas, huh. I guess. 
It's the hand archetype. Yep. When are we going to get more hand support, Konami? There's I technically two what other I hand wanted cards. To play. What do you want to play? My other card. The only other one in his hand. What other card is in your hand? Uh, let's Ice see hand. here. No. Let's see here. Let me see if I did that. But what if I did? What if? What if all the air in the world turned into wood? <laughs> <laughs> the great philosophical debates this time on hard leg gaming. <laughs> That's always my favorite. There's like they had the Courage Wolf and the Success Baby and all those different things, and there was one that of was like, yeah, <gasps> uh, Silent Honor Arc. I haven't seen one of those in forever. <laughs> what was this 2003? Uh, when a bonus monster activates an effect, the effect becomes both players draw one card. Hey, I didn't know Silent Honor Arc did that. <laughs> it's a great unknown effect. You have to flip the card over to read that. Also, text. also, I just noticed this guy's name is Bamboozling Gossip Shell. Oh my god, that's awesome! <laughs> Gone old bamboozling. What? Oh, oh, Ko oh, Konami of America, will your name cease to? What? What comedian did they hire? And they're like, I'm gonna make this game a lot more funny. They're like Shadow of Confusion? No. Bamboozling. I like their meme names. I wonder if that means he's technically part of the bamboo archetype. Huh. Speaking of weird names, did you hear about uh, Konami's newest... It'll be like four weeks old by the time this comes out, but the, the newest TCG exclusive archetype... Yeah, the dangers. The danger. Oh yeah. Those seem interesting. It's kind of like uh, it, it's weird how FAs were like fortune ladies, but faster, and this seems kind of like dark worlds, but faster. Konami of America is just like we're gonna take old ideas and just retrain them in entirely new archetypes. It makes me wonder what their other one will be, because usually they have one that's just, like, based off mythology or, or other stuff, and then they have one that's based off of, uh, like, some kind of reference or, or meme or something like that. Well, then. So Wasn't the Dangers, like, TCG reveal? So that's gonna be their name? Yeah. Because they're only in the TCG. They are exclusive. Oof. Just like Noble Knights. Were Noble Knights? I knew they had some exclusive stuff. Oh, damn. Yeah, you need a lot of monsters in your graveyard to activate that. <laughs> At least he's running Stardust support. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Because I was really worried, the last time, every time we try to do something, like we tried to do Wicked Gods versus Egyptian Gods, we tried an Egyptian God mirror match, we tried the Sacred Beasts, and every time we make a deck around boss monsters, it's always like, well, one guy gets theirs out, and then he completely stomps the other guy because they don't have any chance to recover. But this time, it's like, no, Assault Mode's on both sides. I don't care yeah, who wins. Yeah, we got is. Assault Mode's both times. Yeah. That was pretty rare. I'm glad I was able to take care of it though, because Stardust Assault Mode is... He's, uh, he's a doozy. He's pretty brutal if you can get him out first turn. It's weird though, it's weird Colossus... It. Colossus Fighter Assault Mode barely even looks like Colossus Fighter. He looks just like him. <laughs> he's not the he same just has character. Baymax armor. Does he? It's weird, he has, like, abs. I don't think Colossus Fighter has abs. Joe, I can see he has abs, you know, and I don't have the HD card art that you do. Uh, my HD card art stopped working when I got a new version of YG. I need to re-download it. 
Mm, Last I heard, here. they had discontinued the project, though, I thought. Just whoever was spending their life making HD card art realized that they were spending their life making HD card art. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I appreciate I, their efforts. Yeah. It's definitely appreciated, but that's that's pretty much all it is. You don't get any money. You don't really get any fame. I don't even know your name. I'm sorry, guy who made HD card art. You'll live forever in our card hearts. Oh, snap. Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, then. That's where you get the soul chart. <laughs> Granted, he can't attack. And also, you get to summon two colossal fighters. I only have one. Oh. How did you... Oh, okay, because you resurrected it. Wait, I thought this couldn't attack. Oh, other, other monsters, monsters can't attack. Damn. Red Dragon Archfiend is better. Wrong magnet ring! What the hell? Negate the attack, special summon attack position. Fine. Dragon Fighter Chen send this in a Phantom Knight. Gotcha. Okay, whatever. Yeah. I just love that name. Because everything else in the. the, uh. the, the Phantom Knights is like. Rugged boots, or like destroyed greaves. They're like, what's another word for wrong? Like, just call it wrong. It's a wrong magnet ring. <laughs> what's wrong about it? It's wrong, all right. <laughs> it is an incorrect magnet ring. <laughs> I do. Assault Beast is an awesome name, by the way. I would name my band Assault Beast if I could. Well, then. Well, isn't that unfortunate? Can you special summon Assault Mode after it's been summoned properly? I wish. <laughs> See, what they need to do is get, like, another Assault Mode, but they need to uh, make it Ixies. I want to see, like, Utopia Assault Mode, and just put more armor on top of his armor. Well, shiver me timbers. Well, that was tough. Yeah, that was surprisingly back and forth. Excellent job on both ends, gentlemen. We'll go into siding, and while they're deciding on their siding, let me go ahead and give a big old hard leg Patreon shout-out to Joe Average. The most unaverage of Joes, in my opinions. Um, one of the biggest donators. And he was recently on uh, the Guns of Icarus with us, which was pretty fun. He's just been helpful in the community in general. So thanks to him down at the comments. You've met that guy, right, Cardsworth? Uh, not in person, but in games. He was in our Guns of Icarus game. <laughs> <laughs> true that, true that. So uh, we'll we'll be back when they're done citing. Or actually, dual logs. Did you have anyone you needed to shout out from your Patreon? Um, I don't think anyone from my Patreon watches my Yu-Gi-Oh videos. Ah, uh, yeah, a lot of people don't don't know that you have a much bigger WoW channel. Yeah, a lot of my WoW people don't know I have a Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Yeah. <laughs> I both certainly... just grew independent of each other. Yeah. Well, I guess it's you know you don't you don't show yourself on camera or anything like that, and you're. Oh, Heck sorry, no. throat. Oh God, damn it! What? I drew both my garden. <laughs> you have a chance, Cardsworth. <laughs> I run too, so this won't happen. <laughs> Yeah, I think what was it? The chance if if you have two, if you have three car, or yeah, if you have three copies of something, your chance of running or getting two of them is like two <coughs> percent or something like that. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't know what it is. My throat's just acting up. 
Yeah, but it's like a very, very minimal. I guess if you run two of them, it'd be even less. I think it's like 1%. <sighs> yeah. I just lost the lottery. See, they need an assault beast assault mode so that you can use assault mode on him. They just need more assault mode support in uh, general. You should have attacked with Rose Warrior. You could have inflicted 300 extra damage to him. I could have. Nope. Your magnet's wrong. Gotta get your magnets checked out on that Stardust. So how? what other assault modes are there besides Stardust and, uh... Colossal Fighter. Uh, there's Doom, there's Caliber, Dragon, cold. or something. And there's Supreme Arcanite, Magician, or whatever it's called. Isn't that and a Stardust, monster? Colossal Fighter, and... I thought there was one other one. Are we going to see a five-part series on every Assault Mode, Dual Logs? I heard you did that. Oh, you did? Yep. I thought that's what... Aren't you working on Assault Mode right now, though? Yeah, I'm updating it. Oh, Last time I did okay. it was like two years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, I didn't exist two years ago. So. It, was, it was probably an extreme theme or something where it was just all the Assault Mode cards in a deck. <laughs> no, I did one for each one. A legitimate Assault Mode deck for each and every one of them. And they all worked out well. With the uh, Stardust one being the absolute best, by a country mile. Is a country mile longer or shorter than a regular mile? Good question. <laughs> it's it's a it's a metric mile. <laughs> I assume it would seem longer. Something like that. Old country road. You can negate that with Stardust, I believe. Thank you, Joe. I'm no it. scientist, but... <laughs> yeah, I must admit, uh, Dual Logs, I think when I started I watching you, I've watched almost everything you've put out since you since I started following you, or subscribed to you, but uh, I never really went through your backlog and watched everything. I wouldn't advise it. <laughs> so yeah, oftentimes it's like, wait, what happened? His magnet did something. Magnets can magnet do things. has a second effect where it contributes itself and another Phantom Knight card to draw two cards. Mm. Uh, interesting. It was all a ruse. It was all a clever ruse. So wait, I does that totally mean? planned that. Does that mean that Stardust didn't tribute itself to negate it and therefore won't come back? I think it still got negated uh, because even if he leaves the field, the effect still goes through. Which gotcha. means the effect, the negate would still go through. Ah. Uh, kind of like how you can book a moon your monster to get your effect off. Hmm. You're not a judge, Everybody knows you? that, though. So you're doing soul charge again. Don't you remember what happened last time? <laughs> last time I got cocky. <laughs> this time I'll be con. See, what well, you should have been like, yeah, I won. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. You tried so hard and you got so hard, but in the end, you just weren't hard enough. I believe that's the, the how that song goes. Could be mistaken. It's been a while since I listened to Pink Floyd. Let's Isn't that Linkin here. Park? Yeah, I'm just trying to trigger Let's people. Give another one of these. <laughs> I like You're to mess with the patrol, ones. aren't you? From time to time. I'm trying to okay, so I see I see the giant wolf man with like horns. Um what's that like orangey thing? Is that like a weapon? I'm confuzzled. Is that like a The like Assault a, Beast? Yeah, an assault beast. Is that a mace? The mace. Oh, I can't see. I'm, I'm very bad looking at art. Oh, okay, now I see it. The chain just comes from below. See, I just saw the pointed the pointed bits on it, and I thought he had, like, a little robot companion or something that was all, like, beep, boop, bop. 
and maybe that went with the synchros. So I must say, this is a really good Phantom Knights deck you've made, Dual Locks. <laughs> <laughs> When can we expect the uh, bamboozling gossip turbo episode to come out? Hey, bamboozling gossip is actually used for some things. Is it? Yeah, because he has a second effect where he can use. Actually, I forgot what it is. Target one number XC you control. Attach this card to it as material and transfer its materials as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Someone, someone was trying to tell me when this first came out. They're like, you make utopic Zexel and then you put this thing underneath it and it gets all this material. Yeah, he has a bunch of shenanigans like that. See, I'm using him for his first effect though. Yeah, which just is to also negate good. Things. The effect that no one else uses him for. Stardust Dragon Slat. It's weird too, it's like part dr Stardust Dragon, part Assault Mode. And it's a... Okay, so yeah. Yeah, the archetype is Slash Assault Mode. That's weird. Cards worth? <laughs> what is Not this? coming back from this. Diamond Diamond Crab. <laughs> Don't get he forgot to use his effect. I did. <laughs> I mean, if he had, you would just both roll on one card, so... That's true. It's okay. If this card attacks, it's... Cha oh, well, never mind. <laughs> yeah, but he's an attack You know what? Fuck that. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> I'm already way ahead. I like Diamond. He looks like he would make an awesome hat. I remember the last time I've seen Diamond Crab. It's probably back when Towers was still a, like a menace to the metagame. Yeah. Back when, uh, what's his name? Utopia the Lightning was like an OCG exclusive or something like that. Yeah. Everybody was using Crab to get rid of Towers. Yep. Meanwhile, I was getting rid of towers by not playing Clifford decks. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how I used to out. I, because that was before kaiju's too, right? Yeah, I think so. Kaiju's are a relatively new thing. Yeah. It's just weird. I forget who it was. I think it was DZ put out a video recently where they're like, "Why Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't have boss monsters anymore." I didn't oh, watch yeah, the video. video. Yeah, yeah, I haven't watched it yet either. Yeah. Um, but I was just like, well, that's because they made them too powerful and they they, they, they reached the ceiling of boss monsters. It's like, once you get a boss monster that's like unaffected by everything, lowers everything's attack, makes you discard a monster, like, where, where do you go from there? How much more boss monster can you get? Yeah, you can't really top... Chaos Emperor Dragon. <laughs> Doesn't that make you... Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. I, I feel like Towers tops Chaos Emperor Dragon. To me, Towers was know? like... They, they reached that point, and then they can only go down from there. That was when it became less about... I think Masterpiece tops Towers. Kind of. I mean, it, it's... It, it takes a... Uh, or it's not immune to everything like Towers was. It's immune to two-thirds of everything. Yeah. And it has spell speed to destruction. Like, it's arguably a better card, but it's not, like, a more powerful boss monster. Or rather, it, it wouldn't be as powerful, I don't think, unless it... if It's only powerful because it's in the deck, uh, the, like, the true Draco deck, that where you can pop all your spell traps and get all these pluses. Like, that That's deck's true. already brutal, and then they gave you Masterpiece on top of it. But then again, Towers is only good because of the Quill Engine. Kind of. I mean, you could use... I'm, do you, you have to tribute Cleese to make it, though, don't you? Yep. Yeah. I was just saying, like, 
Towers is something like, assuming you didn't have to tribute Cleese, if you could make it like Monarchs, it would be, it would still be an amazing boss monster. Whereas, like, the, whereas, uh, Masterpiece, like, if you could make it outside of true Dracos, it would still be decent, but without, like, the specific spell traps to make it immune to those things, and... Oof. I don't know what I'm trying to... It's really late here. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost midnight, I'm sleepy. I've run out of things to say about Assault Mode. Get that Stardust out of here. I just know I have to make a... I have to make, like, a one of those Yugi poops of it now. And just be like, Stardust Dragon slash Assault Mode slash Stardust Dragon. <laughs> just keep adding more slashes to it. Makes me imagine an archetype of, like, even more powerful monsters. Not sure where you go after Assault Mode. Danger Zone? It's like, you can only activate this if you control a Stardust Dragon Assault Mode. Send it to the graveyard and summon Stardust Dragon slash Assault Mode slash Danger Zone. Just chain I like it the up. Danger Zone cards. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot that the Danger had a... They have a card called Danger Zone. We have Danger Zone and Final Countdown. Oof. And you can overlay your two Stardust Dragons. <laughs> no, you can't. Don't tell me they're different oh. levels, they're both Stardust Dragons. One's level dragons. 10. But they've both got gross feet, so it's okay. That's what they I have want. dragon feet. Instead of Ixie, instead of two level fours, it's like overlay two monsters with gross feet. And it's just up to your imagination. You have to argue with your opponent on what you define as gross. Whoa. That's a big boy. <laughs> That's an even bigger boy. That's a lot of damage, as Phil Swift would say. Now, the real question is, did he tech in the spicy magic cylinder? No! No, what? What? Poor Qua! Let's make a comeback. Such sadness. Is he still there? What happened? I think he may have dropped. No, I'm still here. Oh, okay. It, did your thing crash too? Yeah. yeah. Well then. Oh my god. Well, well that's you. fine with me. It was going to be a loss anyway. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> that was a great assault mode, Dag. I'm glad you were here for it. Like, comment, and subscribe down in the comments below. And until next video, good luck and have fun. You don't know that was going to be a loss. <laughs> Eh, it's been like 40 minutes anyway. People got as much as they wanted out of it, I believe. If they want more, they can check out your video on uh, Assault Mode, because I believe that'll be out by the time this is out, right? I don't know. Assuming this is coming out in like four weeks? Within It did take me about four weeks to make that Ubel deck. I mean, uh... Well, it'll be somewhere. Neos when you do deck. finish it, I'll be sure to put it in the, uh... The, the, uh description and on the end screen and stuff like that. Yeah, I think I can probably make this one within the next week. It's basically done. It was super consistent. Yeah, worked today. pretty well. So, th thanks for coming on here, though, Mr. Dual Logs. It's always a pleasure to have you here. No problem. We'll have to we'll have to bring you on another time, too. Maybe we can have, like, more Yugi tubers against each other. I don't know. Sure, do it whenever. Yeah. You can make it probably Yu-Gi-Oh! videos every week. Sweet deal. And like Cardsworth already said, uh, good luck, have fun, all that all that stuff. Is that your outro? Yeah, that's usually is a good luck. And then my patrons will be like, and have fun. Good luck and have fun. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs>
With our editing prowess, we could take over the competitive ironing circuit. I have an iron. <laughs> I think you'd have more success making a Fortnite channel. <laughs>